Hey everyone, so today's question is what is an okapi? It kind of looks like a mix of a horse and a zebra, but no, it's not related to them. It's actually a cousin of the giraffe. And if you look closely, you can see it's a smaller, more compact version of a giraffe. It's a little bit shorter. It has the short horns. It has the long tongue, almost to 18 inches, uh, so that it can browse just like a giraffe, which means that it eats twigs and leaves. Um, so why does it have the stripes on its rear end and its legs, its back legs? What's up with that? Well, Okapi live in uh, the forests of Central Africa and so they are blending in. They're dark brown to blend in with the trees and then when snatches of sunlight uh, get through then that's where the stripes kind of blend in with the shade and the sunlight alternating. So that's why they have zebra stripes on their rear ends. Um, they're very, very secretive and very shy, and that's why um, people didn't even know that they existed until around 1900. Uh, even the tribes that lived around there didn't really see much of the Okapi. They're very secretive and ninja-like. They have big ears, so they can hear really well so that they can hear a jaguar or something coming through, a big cat, because those are their predators. They have thick velvety fur that is really oily so that if they get caught in the rain, the rain rolls right off their fur because water and oil don't mix, right? Like I said, they're a shorter, more compact version of the giraffe because they are living amongst trees. Giraffes live on the plains and okapis live among trees, so they don't wanna get their long horns or long necks tangled up in the trees, so they're shorter and more compact. Uh, okapis are very, very important because they browse, eating twigs, berries, leaves, uh, because this ends up in the forest being pruned. It clears space for the plants so that they don't get into a big tangled mass and they can keep growing. They will also supplement their diet with clay and even guano, which is bat poop. So that gets them extra minerals and vitamins in their diet. They can actually eat many, many plants that are poisonous to many animals and even humans. They are also ruminants, which we talked about is like a cow. It has multiple stomachs, and one of those stomachs is the rumen. So they do regurgitate cud and have that sort of digestive system like the giraffe and the cow. Their feet have scent glands on them, and where they walk, they leave a sticky, sticky, smelly substance from these glands so that other acopies can smell where they've been and where they've walked. So don't invite them into your carpeted living room. They also scent mark trees by rubbing their necks on them, so they have scent glands on their necks as well. Baby acopies are born with a little mohawk down their back. It's really freaking cute, but it goes away by the time they're about a year old. Okapis are not fully grown until they're about three years old, and they don't even poop for the first month or two of their life. This is so that they can hide from predators because the predators find it harder to find them if they can't smell their waste. Most okapis will live to be 20 or 30 years old, and they speak an infrasonic language, so that's below the level of sound that we can hear. They're very, very quiet, but they do speak to each other. Wild cats can't really hear it either, so that's how they talk without being heard by their predators. The really cool thing about okapis is that they are mutants, and they are mutants genetically, so you can't see physically any differences in them, but they have um, a phenomenon called the Robertson fusion phenomenon, and it's where they have many of the okapis, not all, but 
a big majority of the acopies in the population have 45 chromosomes instead of 46 chromosomes. Normally, um, they would have 46, but the fusion phenomenon is where one or part of a chromosome fuses with another one, and then they end up with 45 chromosomes instead of 46. So acopies are mutants. That's really cool. Um, even though they probably won't be joining the X-Men, I still think that's really cool. Thank you so much for watching How to Be a Megan. Pooh Bear, say bye. I'll see you next time.